Mastering the spelling of simple present tense verbs. Hello, language explorers. Today we're diving into the captivating world of verbs and, more specifically, into the simple present tense. We will focus on a key area that can sometimes trip up English learners. The spelling rules for adding S or S to verbs. Let's get started. In English, we usually add an S to the base form of the verb in the simple present tense when we are talking about he, she, or it. Here's a quick example. I play, becomes, he plays. This rule seems simple enough, right? But English is never quite that straightforward. Let's take a closer look. When a verb ends in S, SS, SHISH, CH, X, or Z, we add S instead of S. For instance, I watch, becomes, he watches, I fix, becomes, she fixes, and I buzz, becomes, it buzzes. Remember to pay special attention to this rule, as it is a common pitfall for many learners. This is where things get a bit tricky. If the verb ends with a consonant followed by Y, we change the Y to I and add S. For example, I carry becomes she carries. However, if the verb ends with a vowel followed by Y, we just add S. So, I play becomes he plays. There are some verbs that do not follow the standard rules. For example, the verb go, becomes, goes, do, becomes, does, and have, becomes, has, in the third person singular. Always be mindful of these irregularities as they form a significant part of the English language. And that wraps up our lesson on how to correctly spell verbs in the simple present tense when adding S or S. With practice, these rules will become second nature to you. Keep exploring, keep practicing, and soon you'll master the fascinating landscape of English grammar. Thanks for joining us today. Until next time, happy learning!